Good day, subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Jeremy. This is the Financial Education Channel, and today we're talking about what happens during a bull market. I'm going to talk to you guys about the six things that really happen during a bull market. A bull market meaning the type of stock market that just seems to go up and go up and go up and is hitting all-time highs and all-time highs, and the type of stock market that you're like, man, when was the last time the, the market even went down? It just seems like almost every day the stock market goes up. If it goes down, it's like a rare occurrence. Oh my gosh, the stock market went down 30 points today. Wow, that's like hasn't happened in so long. That's the type of bull market that I'm talking about. I've been involved in many of these bull markets because I started investing in, in about 2009. I started looking into stocks in 2008. And ever since then, the stock market's just gone up and up and up and up and up because I started investing. The stock market was at like 7,000, 8,000, something ridiculous like that. Now it's approaching 20,000, guys. So I've been parts of many bull markets, and I've also seen a bear market. But today we're just focusing on the bull market. What happens? What really happens, guys? Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and leave any comments if you have any comments in related to this video. I would love to hear them, guys. So number one thing that happens is balance sheets are forgotten. I preach balance sheets. I preach, you know, paying attention to the balance sheets, investing in companies that have strong balance sheets. Don't invest in companies that have really weak balance sheets because when a recession comes, those companies are gonna, gonna get hammered. But in a bull market, everybody forgets about balance sheets because everything just seems so great and you know everybody's revenue is pretty much going up and everybody's profits are going up and margins are getting better and you know macroeconomics are good, all those kinds of things, guys. So everybody stops paying attention to balance sheets. Me, I don't stop paying attention to balance sheets ever, but you got to understand that companies that have really strong balance sheets, they're not going to get nearly as much respect as when there's fear times. When there's fear times and, you know, there's talk about going into recession or, you know, realistic possibility we could go into recession or we do go into recession, companies with really strong balance sheets, they get a ton of respect and their stocks don't drop nearly as much. But the companies that have strong balance sheets during a bull market, it means nothing, guys. It means absolutely nothing. I I always stay in strong balance sheet companies no matter what because I want that company to be able to survive if they, if they run upon some troubles in their company or if we go into a big recession, guys. I always want to feel comfortable and be able to sleep well at night. And But at the same time, my companies don't get any really better valuation by having a strong balance sheet during a bull market. So that's number one, and that's just pure insanity in my opinion because the balance sheet is just about as important of an investing factor as anything out there, guys. Absolutely so, so vital, so important. So number two, guys, everything becomes short-sighted. Everything becomes fast money. Let's make fast money, fast money, you know, because everybody's just getting gains. Everybody's seeing everybody else's gains. They're like, oh, damn it. He made 20% in the last month. I need to try to make 20% this month because I only made 10% this month, so I'm slacking. Everybody becomes short-sighted and just looking at things in the very short term, you know, over the next couple months or, or even the next couple weeks, everybody just seems to begin to get so short-sighted. And it's kind of natural, guys, because if money's just flowing out there and it's just coming and it's just coming, you know, everybody starts to get a little greedy and tries to, you know, become a little, uh, little, you know, more greedy, I guess you could say. They just want to make more money in the short term and short term. And, you know, a lot of long-term investors are kind of forgotten because then it's like, oh, long term's not quite as important. You know, it's all about making money right now. It's short-sightedness. It just goes insane during a bull market, guys. Everybody becomes sh short-sighted. They just want to make as much money as fast as possible. Number three thing that happens is beating or missing analyst numbers becomes like the most important factor during a bull market. You know, if that company beats earnings and, and beats EPS and all those kinds of things and revenue and their guidance is good, then those stocks go generally go up a ton. And if a company misses, then it gets hammered in the short term. And that becomes almost like the only thing that's important during a bull market. I don't know why that is. It's just it happens, guys. I see it time after time with these companies that are reporting. The ones that report great guidance and, and great numbers, they, they their stocks go up insane amounts. Just like, wow, that stock really went up that much? How, you know, they, yeah, they beat their numbers a little bit, but it's not that much of a, a beat that their stocks should go up 20, 30%. And the same thing with stocks that, you know, might miss numbers just by a few cents. Sometimes their stocks go down 20%. And I'm like, uh, that makes no sense. How does that stock go down 20% because they beat, they miss numbers by two cents? Uh, you know, it makes no sense. But that's what happens during a bull market. It becomes all short term. It becomes all about 
Did you beat your numbers? Is your guidance going to beat next quarter? If it is, woo, your stock goes up. And if, if you didn't, then pfft, your stock gets crapped on big time. The good thing is, though, even though stocks that get crapped on in a bull market, the market is generally going up. So even though it might get killed in the short term, it may still bounce back very strong just because the whole market's going up. So that's the, that's the one good thing about a bull market as far as that goes if you're in a stock that barely misses numbers and those kinds of things, guys. Number four, the investment community as a whole gets lazier. When a bull market happens and money just seems like it's so easy, it's coming at you and you could pretty much invest in any company, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, everybody starts to get a little lazier. They stop deep diving into companies and really looking into the details, really looking into the balance sheets like we talked about and really looking into, okay, how did they get this type of gain here? They stop really diving deep. Everybody just starts to get a little lazier because it just seems so easy to make the money, guys. It's no different than, you know, okay, a 17 year old comes in, they start working at McDonald's, right? That first day, in for maybe in the second day, they're gonna care so much about like how they place that, if they're making a Big Mac, how do they put that little burger patty on that burger so perfect? And let's put the piece of cheese so perfect. And then let's put the lettuce. By the time they hit two or three months, they're like, it's so damn easy, you know, um, the money's gonna come to me no matter what. I'll just throw that burger patty on there and the cheese goes on there and the lettuce, and here you go, put it in the bag. You know, it, it, they stop caring as much because they realize this is just a pretty easy job and the money's gonna come to me no matter what. It's human nature, guys, and same thing happens with the stock market. Everybody's just making gains, everybody's just making 10% a month or whatever, they're making 5%. And they're like, oh, this is so easy. You know, I don't even need to look into it. You know, they start feeling like godly and I can just do it. And it's just so easy. The money just comes to me. That happens during a bull market, guys. The investment community becomes to get lazier. It's, it really happens, guys. Don't you get lazy, though. We never try to get lazy. We always want to deep dive. We always want to look into things for when the dark days do come or for when our companies struggle, guys. So never stop deep diving. Number five. Big fund managers begin to chase gains and begin to put the, push the stock market even up. These big fund managers that manage hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars, guys, they see their, their buddy fund manager over there and he's got a higher percent gain than, than this guy's got because this guy wasn't as heavily invested. So what he does, he's like, shit, I need to make gains or I'm gonna lose my customers to that other big fund manager over there because he's got a 10% gain, I got a 7% gain, so I need to push some money up toward these stocks so then hopefully I can get a better gain so I can try to catch up to him. So he goes ahead and pushes a ton of money out there towards stocks. That pushes the stock market up even higher and when you got 10, 20, 30 fund managers all doing the same thing, chasing big gains, then it's just a funnel effect to just push the market up, push the market up and everybody's trying to catch up to these gains, guys because they don't wanna be outdone by their other fund manager because they don't wanna lose customers to them, guys. So big fund managers begin to chase the market, which ends up pushing up the market even more because there's so much money coming into these stocks that it just pushes things up higher and higher. Then retail investors have to pay even higher prices. Then the other fund managers have to pay even higher prices and they push it up even further. So it's a compounding effect that's just kind of like a melt up. Same thing that happens when the stock market's going down, you know, everybody's selling positions and it's like a meltdown and the stocks just go down and down and down. Same thing happens when it goes higher and higher. It's just a melt up guys and things just melt up because these big fund managers just push money, push money into these stocks guys. So that's the number five thing that happens during a bull market. Number six, and lastly here, guys, big and small investors, they begin to margin out. You know, big funds and even smaller investors and whatnot, they all start to end up creating margin accounts if they don't already have a margin account or margining out money. So basically taking on debt to invest more money because the gains just seem so easy that it seems like a no brainer to start margining out putting debt and starting to invest so you can make even more money than what you really have. So you can start investing $2 for every $1 you actually have. So that way, these gains you can get are gonna be so much bigger. And the next gain is gonna be even bigger and bigger and bigger because you're you're investing money that's not even yours and who cares about paying the interest rate because you know that's less, less than what the market's going up at that time. So that begins to happen, guys. Big funds begin to margin out. Small investors begin to margin out. The medium-sized investor begin to margin out. And people just start taking out debt just to push the market up even higher. And then the, there's even a lot of debt money out there in the markets. And whenever things do, do come cr crashing down, it comes really fast because all those margin counts start to get margin calls 
which is a lot of what happened in the Great Recession, which is why stocks dropped so drastically because so many margin calls began to come. Then, then big funds and even small investors, they had to sell their positions and, and that forced the stocks even down further and they had to sell their positions. Bull market though, it just forces everything to go up higher and higher and higher, guys. So those are the six things that happen during a bull market, guys. It's just pure insanity that happens during a bull market, guys. I want to share that with you so you can kind of understand it. A lot of it's just human nature stuff that people do. It's not that they're bad people. It's just sometimes you're just, you're just made a certain way as a human that when you see things are easy, you might get a little lazy. You might want to be greedy and get more and get more. And those things just happen, guys. If you come across this video and this is your first time watching the channel, you may want to subscribe. I talk about personal finance on the channel. We talk entrepreneurship on the channel. And we talk the stock market the most on this channel. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave me any comments. If you have comments on this, guys, I would love to hear them. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.